Well, hello, and what we're going to do today is we're going to look at some stamping on the uh, engine block, and we're going to use that to help determine for sure what we have. On a lot of, uh, you know, small block Chevys, they all look the same on the outside pretty much. And uh, sometimes it's a little bit confusing possibly on what engine you might have. Uh, by checking the casting and stamp numbers on the block uh, can be a big help on determining your engine and when it was made and, and a lot more information. So anyway, we'll check out these casting numbers and uh, we'll come back. Well here on the front of the engine is uh, where you can see these ID numbers and they're stamped in and that will tell uh, the year model uh, that the engine was and also the factory where the engine was assembled and I believe on these front numbers you can even determine um, what type of vehicle uh, it was originally installed in. Um, this would be helpful for somebody that's trying to get a numbers original type engine uh, to put in a car. Here on the rear of the engine, I'm trying to get the light right. You'll be able to uh, see these numbers, and uh, that will be able to uh, tell you exactly which engine that you have. You can go in to several different websites, and they'll give you the number range for your engine, and it'll tell you uh, exactly what you have. What I'll do is I'll take these numbers, I'll go in and look at them, and uh, I'll find out more information about my engine block. Well, I had collected information from several different sites, not just one site in general, but uh, this top one right here, that's the one that the casting number is on the back of my block. And what that indicates is that it's a 1970 to 1980 casting. It is a 400. Uh, they use this block in cars and trucks, in A body and B body cars, which a, a body is like a, a Chevelle, a Malibu, or a Monte Carlo. Um, and then any of the pickups, I'm thinking primarily half tons and three quarter tons. Um, there was kind of some contradiction on number of possible main caps, uh, the bolts. Uh, there was some sites that said with that uh, engine casting there would just be two main bolts, but another one said it could have four. And uh, anyway, this block, the 509, will have two freeze plugs on the side. Uh, the one that has the three freeze plugs, it will have uh, the last three numbers of 511. On the stamping on the front of the engine, the first number, which is a number one, that means Chevy. Uh, the next number is the year, which that's a number five. So we know that it is between uh, 70 and 80 so we think it's a 75 by looking at that all right the J indicates that it was Flint where the block was made and um, then the rest of that number is uh, engine serial number uh, the F08 that also means Flint, and the 08 means August. So the engine was made in August. Uh, it has CTU. So CTU means 1975, uh, 400, LT4 application. Uh, you would have a VIN letter of U in your VIN. 175 horse, uh, four barrel car, body style A and B in cars. But anyway guys, by using uh, these stamped numbers and casting numbers, you can determine which engine you have. 
uh, for me, it made a, a big importance to find out whether or not I had a, a 400 or a 350 or 305, whatever. So anyway, I do appreciate you coming by the shop today. Hope you can use that information. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here. <laughs>